so talking about the invitation. I know this is the age of Tinder and Bumble and internet dating, but shouldn't we still be cautious about meeting a guy from the internet that claims to be your brother? Did it not set off any alarm bells that Oliver offered to pay for her to go to another country? She's just like, yeah, why not? I don't have anything else going on. Watch Dateline Girl. And then she gets there and she meets Walt and let's just pause to appreciate his eyes, okay? But he's like, hi, I'm the Lord of the Manor. Some guy tells me he's the Lord of the Manor and that's my cue to hit it, like head out. Not like hit it, like hit the road. And then we meet the housekeepers that are dressed like old timey maids and how bad did they need this job? Send me your Venmo, like don't put up with that butler or getting eaten by a vampire. And those nails, oh my Lord, those nails. I thought my nails were bad. He needed a manicure at that spot ASAP. But then they made the manicures look scary. The whole time they were scraping that nail bed, I was like, oh, don't do it, don't do it. Victoria was happy about it though. Not creepy at all, Victoria. She was a little rude anyway, so I guess it wasn't taboo for her to lick Evie's finger. Also, whenever they would talk about where they were, Carfax, am I the only one that would think of the fox on that commercial? Carfax? I cringed out loud when Walt said that line during the fireworks. When are you gonna kiss me? Oh God, no, don't say that. And Charlie was like, I hope never. Then she's laying down and sees that creepy thing on the top of her bed. So she gets under the bed. <laughs> Walt suddenly appears out of nowhere and yanks her from under it. Still no red flags for you, Evie? Okay, well, what about when he bought you that dress? If a guy buys you a dress, don't take it. I mean, have you seen Till Death with Megan Fox? Dress was beautiful, but next morning, Sitch, not too good. Finally, they tell us we're dealing with vampires and not demons, so that was kind of a relief. Vampires haven't been popular since Twilight. And maybe Evie should just lean into it. I mean, Walt's attractive. Um, he lives in a mansion. I'm sure Victoria will come around. I guess she does have to share Walt, though. That could be a problem. And then at the end, there's that vampire girl fight. That's got to be some man's fantasy somewhere, right? And Evie wins and we're like, yes, go Evie. And then that damn butler comes back. We knew that butler was bad news. There was some foreshadowing with the butler at the beginning. Overall, patriarchy and racism were overwhelming themes of the movie. Probably worth a watch, just don't expect too much. I mean, expect like a vampire thriller, slightly horror movie.